Yo, what is up guys, Red Stag here. In today's video and following from the success of Uber Tristram on a budget in season one, I will be showing you how you can kill Uber Tristram on a budget in season two. I will be talking which character to play, your stats and skill points, what you're looking for on items and some tips and methodology on how to tackle both mini Ubers and Uber Tristram itself. Time to make that cash money, right? Although, good luck with that. The organ drop rates suck this season. Nevertheless, without any need for a further introduction, let's get into it. Your budget season two Uber Tristram killer. See you after the intro. So the character that you will have seen from the introduction that we will be playing to kill Uber Tristram on a budget is none other than the Boazon. Now the core of this build is centered around slowing your target enough such that they don't kill your Valkyries and decoys fast enough to get to you, thus giving you time to kill them with Guided Arrow. The item stats that you're looking for is to be able to stack 50% slows target with all of your items. There's multiple ways to do this of course. You want enough res that you could take a hit just in case and the rest you really want into damage. So enhanced damage or dexterity if possible. Dual leech is also highly recommended. It just makes things a bit easier, meaning you don't really have to use pots. Now combine this with your Merc casting Decrepify through the use of the Runeward Lawbringer and those bosses are gonna wish they didn't bother to get out of bed this morning. Or more they couldn't because they were too slow. Now, for completeness, to go through all of my gear, the weapon that I chose for this is none other than Gut Siphon. I have four doll runes in here, but this is not necessary, it just makes things a little faster, and of course, Paul would be even better, because most things are demons. Side note, do remember repeating crossbows have increased in damage by 50% in Season 2, and dolls offer a cheap method to get some extra ED to make things faster. Awesome. Now this crossbow gut siphon offers 25% of the target 50% slow, it offers open wounds, it has huge lifesteal and with only 10 IAS on the rest of your gear you hit maximum breakpoint. It is perfect for boss killing. I got my eyes on you Diablo clone. Not to mention this crossbow is not expensive and not too difficult to get. So it's win, win, win. As a side note, this is not absolutely necessary to have this crossbow. I just like the mods on it to free up my other slots with slow. It's still possible to kill with a crossbow or bow of your choice as long as you hit that 50% slows target. For example, with Blackhorn's face and Nosferatu's coil. Now to the rest of the gear to get the remaining 25% of our target 50% slows target. I opted for Cleglaw's gloves. And then I also opt for Face of Horror Mask so that I can make minions that I cannot kill, physical immunes for example in Uber Tristram, to flee, to be slowed, to be knocked back and therefore harassing me and my mercenary as little as possible. For my armor, I'm running Blackhead's armor. The only reason I have this is for damage to demons. Of course, an absolutely more than suitable alternative would be the likes of Lionheart which is super cheap. Anything that's giving you some extra damage because that's what you really need. And res, of course, are welcome too. I'm running a kind of random assortment of jewelry just to get some leech in there. Uh, more importantly, Ravenfrost for the cannot be frozen, still a super useful mod. I'm running Nosferatu's coil belt just for the IAS. The lifesteal is nice. The slows target can hit the minions, for example, to slow them even further. And then I'm running Goblin Toes Boots. Now, although Crushing Blow was nerfed heavily in Season 2, it is still super useful to get that first around a third of the boss's life down through Crushing Blow. So I'd still recommend this for speed. Now, the remainder I have an assortment of random res charms to boost my resistances, although this is not necessary. Um, and I also have a torch here for the same reason, but Additionally, not so necessary. Nice little extra piece I have is I have Demon Limb on my swap. This improves my attack rating when I'm strafing or attacking the minions, not using Guided Arrow, and also gives me a little bit more damage to help kill things a bit faster. And I also apply this to my Merc because it's useful. Now, moving on to my Mercenary, this forms really the other core part of being able to do this on a budget. And here we have Lawbringer. 
I do have it in a very nice phase blade base, however that would not be necessary, you really just need it for the Decrepify. But find the best, maybe eth and fastest sword that you can get, throw it in there, chuck it on your Merc and hope to get those Decrepifies out while you're slowing the target. The rest of the mercenaries gear of course you would want increased attack speed, you would want lifesteal, I just have a kind of random assortment of things. Uh, but you can see that there's definitely a lot of improvement yet, and we are on a budget. Now moving on to the skills, you want to max Decoy, you want to max Valkyrie, you want to max Guided Arrow, one point in Strafe is my personal preference. You also want enough points in Pierce that with your gear you have a 100% chance to Pierce to make sure you're hitting multiple times with Guided Arrow. And then I split my points somehow between Critical Strike, Evade and Dodge as you see fit, but in reality, these are all relatively free points to use. For your stats, you want enough strength and dexterity to wear your gear, and then you want to split the rest between vitality and dexterity to have a good mix of survivability and damage. Now comes the methodology. The methodology for mini Ubers is fairly simple. You walk around really killing things, slowing them, not just with your auto attacks and decrepify, but also with slow missiles to make sure it's very safe and keep going until you find the mini uber boss. Now when you find the mini uber boss it's important that you keep two valkyries up and also your decoy while you hit them with guided arrow. Give your merc enough time eventually the decrepify will hit and then the mini uber will have a hard time killing your summons in time to then kill you before you get time to kill it. There's a lot of killing. Now do be sure to pot for your mercenary I found with Lilith, also antidotes were very useful and keep on recasting Valkyries and decoys to distract their aggression and keep on shooting them and you'll see how slow they are at attacking and you can see it's just a matter of time before you'd get the better of them and kill all of the mini ubers. Now with uber Tristram it really is business as usual, you want to lure out one boss at a time so that you're not fighting all three of them. You want to keep your Valkyries and your decoy up. You want to make sure you and your mercenary are enchanted. When there are summons there, use your strafe to kill them as well. If they are physical immune, make sure to use slow missiles so their attacks are super slow with your slows target, slows missiles and decrepify. And you still shouldn't have a problem taking down Uber Tristram. Do note I'm doing all this testing on single player pluggy and that is why I do not have minions but this is also why I wanted to include the 50% chance for monsters to flee because I know there's physical immunes there and we can just keep them fleeing, we can keep them really slowed so that they don't pose any threat for you. Give it a little time later and BAM! You've killed all of Uber Tristram, all of the mini Ubers, on a budget and uh, won yourself a beautiful torch. Also guys, don't forget, Black Soul Stones have value, they are used for D-Clone. Standard of Heroes have value, they are used for juicing maps. Pick up everything, collect plenty of them and sell them because they are worthwhile. Now let me know in the comments guys if you're going to give this a try. Feel free to hit me up with any questions or comments. I'm always keen to hear from you guys and what you think about this build. Also, don't forget if you got value from this, hit that like button. I really appreciate it. It means that you like to see the content that I'm making so I can make more of it. So, until next time guys, happy twisting, red stag out, GG.